You a keyboard pirate, my man, that's hella lame. Watch where I kill. Itch to bet you catch fish, get him in the net quick, cast for another stick. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag is to be. Oh! Ooh. Oh! oh the mighty monster. crappie! Ooh. The ultimate game fish! Yeah! And that's just because all, all fish are stuff's made in China. So, with the just that sticking it? Just, just jiggling it, yeah. It's a nice crappie. Ice, ice fishing style. Push. Good morning everybody, Oliver Now here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't had the opportunity, please subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss on dope videos like this one. We got a special treat for you today. We are going to take the magnificent one, the black crappie, and do something a little different for you guys on this catching cook here. Uh, if you guys are big swim bait and big bait aficionados, you guys might recognize this brand of curry. And this is from the same guys that make the Jointed Claw 230, the 178. Uh, they sent this to me as part of a care package. So shout out to all my friends at Gancraft. Shout out to Big Bass Dreams Europe. Uh, we're gonna do a little twist on chicken katsu. So if you guys are fans of Japanese curry dishes, we're gonna try doing something with this Gan curry with the black crappie. And we're gonna whip up a crappie katsu for you guys today, so stay tuned. If you guys aren't familiar with a couple of these products here, then we'll, the first thing you're gonna notice is this flayaway fish mat. Even though this fish house has a nice little board for us to clean fish on, this takes it to a whole new level of easy. It's a non-skid surface. It's got these raised, uh, I don't even know what these things are. It looks like, they look like little cones, but it keeps the mess on the mat. And you guys are gonna see at the end of this, super easy to wash off, super easy to manage, and it keeps everything in place. Just makes cleaning fish less of a chore because I think everybody's been in that boat, right? You get excited, you start whacking some crappies, start filling up the live well or the fish basket, and then you have a lot of work represented in this sink. So anything I can do to maximize my efficiency and get this done as quickly and cleanly as possible, I'm gonna utilize. And this, this fish mat has been the deal. And if you guys have spent any time filleting panfish, you're gonna appreciate a short, thin, flexible knife like this Bubba Blade knife. It's amazing for getting all of the yield that you can off of these mid-sized crappies. Now we talked about it in the meat eater episode before. You know, there needs to be a little bit better push for conservation of the large specimens of sunfish. So anything over 12 inches, we've been releasing back. Uh, that's brood stock. Those are trophy crappies, and especially up here in the north, I couldn't even guess how old those fish are, but they've been around for a while. So we've uh, really focused on harvesting more of the mid-sized fish, like that seven to 11 inch size keep those sneakers from successfully reproducing. The black crappie is one of my favorite fish to eat. Probably top five out of the North American freshwater species. It is in battle and contention with the flathead catfish. Uh, and actually our friend here, the Northern Pike. And yeah, walleye's pretty good, but word on the street is some guys in a random taste test were picking drum over walleye. So as good as walleye is, there's a lot of other really good eating fish. Crappie's got a pretty distinct flavor and taste profile. 
not completely bland and a blast to catch. So, so yeah, it's super. Cool. Yeah, I bet you got bit by a crappie. Bro, oh, they're stacked right here. Decided to uh, do this catch and cook for you guys, but yeah, not bad. We've got a special guest appearance by the mighty one himself, the rock bass. This is actually a pretty good eating fish. Probably rank it below uh, a crappie, but it's on par with many of his other cousins, bluegills, red ear, pumpkin seed. So if you like eating any of those guys, they're all in the same family. He probably doesn't get the respect he deserves just because he's not as pretty of a fish but he eats just fine. You can see here he's got nice white meat, pretty thick fillets for the stout creature that he is. And the bigger units make for some good eating. Nice little fillets there. So there's gonna be a kind of a fish katsu roulette. Someone's gonna get two pieces of, uh, of rock bass, but I wouldn't complain. Bam! Check it out guys. Got that nice pile of fillets. Look at the cleaning board. Still relatively clean. Almost all of the mess is contained here on the mat. You got guts, scale, slime, innards, semi-digested crustaceans and aquatic insects. And the best thing about this thing is how, the best thing about this mat is how low maintenance it is. Uh, I don't even use soap and water. I'll rinse it, all this stuff flushes out, and I'll just leave it out in the sun. It's really as simple as that. So when you're traveling on the road like me or if you got a nice little fish house set up to clean fish, this is my best friend. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take these uh, clean fillets inside and whip up some Gancraft curry and bring you some crappie katsu. All you swim bait heads are probably familiar with some of those uh, volatile Facebook groups. This is the man behind <laughs> one of them. Back in the day, Mr. Eric Ask. How's it going? Shout out to the swim bait universe. What up, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> but Eric is a local up here in the Twin Cities area, right? Yeah, central Minnesota. Live on the south side of Malax Lake there. Nice. Yeah. So you got word on the street. What we're doing here, we're doing some crappie katsu with Gancraft curry. I'm ready to get involved. What do you think about that? You throw the I'm surprised. I'm actually, I shouldn't say I'm sorry. I'm a little surprised though. I mean, everybody knows Gancraft. So many guys do. They make some of the best glide baits around, pretty darn good glide baits. <gasps> Who'd have known they that they curry. had their own brand of food? <laughs> I can't wait. Sweet, translate for me because I have no idea how to cook that. Uh, let's see. When you walk in the way of the meadow, and the rain comes from the side. I don't know what it's Dude, that was amazing. <laughs> I, got, I was ready to walk in the way of the meadow, man. I don't know what the hell that meant. But that was pretty good. Right, I'm going to give you guys a little life hack. Since I've been traveling internationally the last couple years, you can actually download an app. It's a translator app with this symbol here. Okay, I'm not really sure whose it is. But it's rad because you can actually take pictures of things like the back of a Gancraft curry box and translate every language. Check that out. No way. It says up here, without cutting the seal of the bag, put in hot water that has boiled up and rises about four to five minutes and then transfer it to a vessel. It's a good place to eat. How far from the meadow? <laughs> About a quarter mile. <laughs> and then it says on the microwave picture, a vessel of a sure up transfer too. And warm up not to be. The ease of heat. About two minutes at 500 watts. 
Where's Shark when you need so him? So there we go. Where is Shark, man? I don't know. I, I text him. Shark, where you at? He's up around the Schwam again, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big up to Shark. Big bass streams. What's up, Sharky? Smally awesome. snatching mofo. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We should t we're going to send him a picture of our crappie katsu. He'll be and very he'll jealous. Run deep. <laughs> yes, deep. He'll run deep. All right, now, let's, uh, let's get in the kitchen. Let's whip this up. Find this metal. <laughs> Scott, how is it? This is definitely the best crappie katsu I've ever had. <laughs> it's real good, especially since we caught it all. Oh, yeah. How is it? That's excellent. Surprisingly excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you were nervous, huh? Oliver? I've never had crappie katsu, so here we go. We did good, guys. We did good. <laughs> All right, Miles. See. Dude, do you like katsu? It's katsu. It's but katsu. like crappie. Huh. Crazy. You sure that's not a chicken wing? <laughs> it's like a chicken wing to me. It's finger food, right? <laughs> Welcome oh, to Minnesota. Food. Ooh, dang. It's a little different take on fried that's fish. That's fine. Do you want to try some? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Snow? Is that pretty good? You give kiss? Good boy. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Wanna close it out or is that sure. good enough? Oh. You guys getting tired of eating fried fish over and over and over again? Get yourself some Gancraft curry. Shout out to Gancraft. Mm. Super easy recipe. Not hard. Panko, steamed rice, little garnish. Get you some candy ginger though, because that's that's the ticket. That's a jam, sure. A little candy ginger in that would be. Mm -hmm. What are those deals on top there? What are they? Potatoes. It, really? Yeah. Potatoes. It looks like tofu. That might be. Could be tofu. What is it? It's like beef tips or something. Oh. Oh really? What was it? We don't know. I don't know. You can't read Japanese stuff. So. <laughs> well, was it in the? Was it in the? Oh yeah. Katsu? It was, it was, it was in the curry. It was in the curry. Yeah. It's from Gancraft. Mm, Maybe wow. it's joint claw tails. Real good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for the cameraman to eat. Hey, I'm Brian uh, Lene, the new proprietor at the Red Door Resort. Uh, seven months into this stint on the North Shore of Mille Lacs in Minnesota. Uh, we've got a great location. We're very happy to cater to guys like this for angling, getting out, doing some great fishing right along the shoreline and out of the flats where the best located resort as you want to get either summer or winter out to those mud flats on Mille Lacs. Um, we're just super happy. We've got great 11 great cabins, some motel room, and uh, we're happy to accommodate. Uh, new Wi-Fi installed that's really fast. We've got uh, good amenities for kids, water trampoline, uh, 
lily pads, we've got some uh, shuffleboard, tetherball, other outdoor activities. We've got some good fish house parks, so if you want to store your ice castle somewhere, uh, we've got great location and ice access during the winter time uh, out on our extensive roads to the flats, and you can also jump off here to go north to a lot of different panfish lakes. It's a good place. That we're only two hours from the Twin Cities, and it's well uh, located. We'd love to host you. Catch fish, get them in the neck, quick cash for another step. That real deal, fall uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. Medium light, grab fight for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop.